Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about successful community interaction using community-based approach to literacy programs. It is a very short topic because I'm only focused on CISO uh, 1996 articles and he also studied his uh, uh, other articles by his various uh, authors and upon various uh, community programs and uh, I used his studies to just to inform you about um, anyone wants to open up a program in a community and uh, you can refer to what are the prerequisites before uh, opening up a program in a community base uh, for, to approach the uh, literacy program okay now he also suggests the community-based approach in literacy programs could enhance the cultural understanding and also life experience experiences through knowledge <coughs> interaction such as reading writing and oral communication so the dynamic dynamic process of reading, writing, and verbal communication takes place between, le for example, learners and learners, or the learners and uh, um, teachers, or the learners and his own community. All right. So in his book, he has many, um, he has many, these many authors, and there are various uh, previous articles and research. For example, uh, women in in community. Uh, in family literacy program by Sandra Cohan and Elizabeth Hayes and also uh, for example African American community by Elizabeth Peterson and community based mi migration mi migrant education by uh, Loida Verkes and the prison as community by Wayne Blue James et al. Et al. means many many authors other authors and uh, building connections and Classroom and communities in rural Virginia by Mary Binhan, which one I which I'm going to focus on that later, and also literacy and health communities by Peggy Cizel et al, and also popular education or educational strategy for community based um, organization by Hal Feather, and the learning in practices inquiry communities by Susan Lytle. Okay, the example today is the uh, building connections, the between the classroom and communities in the rural Virginia uh, by Mary Binghan, Marie Martin, and Amy Traffic. Okay? In this article, CISO, uh, which is CISO research, uh, I, uh, I will open the quote that uh, in the article say the teachers on the design uh, team have a good deal uh, further and are building the curriculum units around the community issues and concerns as identified by their students. Okay, so the above statement is a typical example of a community-based approach to literacy program where the main focuses are on the community's issues and the later slowly they will focus on the personal development and the person and education uh, on the students or the participants. Okay. Now, the features of a community-based approach program, as mentioned by uh, Binghan et al, has the following characteristics. Number one, whether or not the community-based organization will use the programs and focus on community development and change. Number two, whether the written evaluation and the workshops and particular and participants actions activity in activities implemented whether they can learn uh, the new skills and learn ways to identify community community themes number three how the participants connect and enforce the uh, adult education program within the community okay that's all for my today's topic and uh, my next topic will be uh, on the staff selection uh, matters within the adult education profession okay please subscribe to my channel and like my videos I, I will bring you more next time in the meantime stay tuned thank you for listening and goodbye